This is Cities in Motion 2. I'm going to show a technique for reducing traffic congestion. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of traffic here. And this traffic is mostly aimed at going to the same location. And it's been a chronic problem that I've had. Uh, most of this traffic is going here to the Sydney Opera House. And they might be going to other locations too. But I have a lot of problems with uh, the Sydney Opera House. As you can see, there's a long line of cars along the edge. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bus route and I'm going to put it diagonally across the map from, from the, where I think the source of most of the traffic is coming from. And I'm going to make a route that starts um, diagonally at the top of the North Island and it's going to go through the island, through my highway system, and it's going to end up at this bus stop at the Sydney Opera House. And this bus stop has to be placed where it is because of the way the Opera House is laid down. I can't move it any more towards the corner. So this is the end point, and the beginning point is going to be around here. Uh, there's a lot of room here for me to build a bus station and the bus depots are very cheap so I have no problem building one right here and for some reason it won't let me build straight okay there it is now from here I have two choices I could either lay down bus stops or I could use the existing route and because I have a good network of bus stops chances are I won't have to put anything down but I will put one down here at the end And I'm going to use the existing bus stops, for which there are definitely plenty. Maybe occasionally I'll plan one down. So there's a new line. And it's going to start here. I'm going to have it go to this stop first. And remember, I'm going diagonally. So I'm going to pick stops that get me there using some form of a zigzagging manner. Um, over here we don't have any bus stops, so that technique is not going to work well. I'm going to probably have to plant one to find a nice location and I'm thinking maybe on this major road here I'm going to add this stop here oh it didn't place a stop so I'm going to try again right there okay that time it did so I'm going to add that stop, and you can see how it's starting to wind its way through. I could go down to here. And I'm not being too picky about where the stops are. You want to be near other infrastructure as much as possible. But uh, I don't think it's going to matter too much, because I don't know where these people are coming from. All I know is that there is a problem. Let me try this stop over here. And we don't want too many stops because it'll take a lot longer to get to the final destination. And we want to avoid the highway. The highways are congested. And using the highway is going to be a problem. Okay, so I think I picked up sufficient number of stops. And I'm going to try to cross over this highway here, which, as you can see, is completely jammed. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't have to get on the surface road here. It's completely optional. So I just might bypass it. And I'm just going to head straight for the Opera House, which will be right here. 
uh, I could force it to take this exit and then have it stop over here, have it stop over here. See if there's anything else interesting. So there might not be. And then have it do the return route. The return route is also going to wind up this road. We don't want to go that way. See, this, this is an example of um, we don't have a way to get to the local surface streets from that bridge. Uh, so unfortunately, we're either going to have to head north. We're going to have to head north. Which probably means heading up to heading up to here. I'm going to place a stop there. And I'm not going to necessarily bring people back to where they came from. They can figure out on their own how to get to where they want to go. They've got lots of... Uh, options here. What's important is that I make it back to that depot. And the other good thing is there's not a lot of traffic congestion on the um, on the road. So not worried about traffic congestion on the surface roads. It's mainly on the hi on the highways that I get traffic congestion because I have a pretty good highway system. And then the last stop and then we enter the depot. That's a pretty long route. I am going to show you, you can look on the mini map. It's a long route. Um, the, the vehicles are going to have problems with the maintenance. And we're going to have to make sure that we have a good schedule where we're frequently um, sending out vehicles. We're going to have another issue where people are going to ride it even though they're not going to the Sydney Opera House. So it's recommending 26 vehicles. I'm going to purchase 26 vehicles. I think I'm going to go for the ones that have the faster maintenance times, which is going to be this Evo Urban. And I'm going to buy like 30 of them, or maybe even 40. OK, so we got 30 of them. And I will buy a few more. Okay, this is a big route. It's also very important. Bus line 65. I'll be keeping an eye on this. My concern is that he's going to get stuck in this big traffic jam. But in the same respect, he should also be alleviating this big traffic jam. That's a big traffic jam. It looks like it's going to be difficult to find another way because unfortunately there is only two ways to get across to get onto that southbound bridge and both of them have a giant traffic jam. Now while I'm waiting for that I'm going to fix a problem. I'm going to show you a problem and how I'm going to fix it. Over here we have a three-lane road that is congested. It is now highlighted in green. This three-lane road branches out into five lanes. You have an off-ramp, a three-lane um, through fare, and another one-lane off-ramp. So for these three lanes, we could actually expand it into four or five lanes. And over here is a smart idea the vehicles that are coming from this on-ramp that don't need to take this on-ramp they can stay in the right lane and it's and the vehicles that are going through will probably not use the right lane so I'm gonna remove this and replace it with a five lane road like this should be no big deal should be 16 meters just like that. 
it doesn't have to be five lanes for your entire highway. You just need it at the key points where you have merges, on ramps, off ramps, things like that. So what's going to happen is the vehicles that are going to take this exit highlighted in green are probably going to be on the rightmost lane. I will turn it like this. So the vehicles that need to turn right are probably going to be in the right lane. The vehicles that turn left, which there's very few, will be in the left lane. And hopefully, hopefully the vehicles that go forward will stay in the center lanes. And likewise, the vehicles that take this on-ramp, hopefully, will head for those right lanes. And the vehicles coming from these three lanes, hopefully, will stay to the left or stay centered. And that should allow more traffic to come through this area. Now another thing that you'll notice is that we've got this bus lane which is highlighted in blue and the bus lane actually has more than one possible path. We could, if we wanted to, put a waypoint which is right here. Let me move this over here. Put this waypoint, and we drop this waypoint, for example, here. And it's going to make a little circle. And then I can take this feature here where it says Add Stops. And I can link it there, and you'll see that the route for the bus changed. So it was going to the, what's actually the southbound uh, highway, and it could take instead the westbound highway. Um, it's basically, um, I think that going on the westbound is going to be better because there's a lot more lanes. Even though that you have an equal chance of becoming congested. Unfortunately, it can't pick and choose. It's going to have to go the route that I picked. So uh, that's the route it's going to be. It's not going to take the other route. Let's see how it's going. We have this depot. We've got two buses that have departed. And it is bus line 65. So we've got one of the buses right here. Bus number 806. You can see it on the little, what's called a mini viewport. You can see how it's heading down. This is probably the second bus on the route. When, let's see if this is one of the stops. Okay, this is one of the stops. There are two buses that stop at this particular stop. And you can see that there's three passengers that are waiting on that line and there's one that's waiting on the other bus line. Um, over here is the other bus, the one that's going to get there first. So I'm going to switch bus number 805. We're going to track that bus instead because right, that's going to get there first. And it's going to be a while before it gets there. It's got a lot of stops it's got to make and it has not picked up a lot of people yet. I'm looking forward, I'm following the line, and I'm looking at where the stops might be. Over here we've got zero passengers. I'm going to see if I can find a faster way to get to where I'm going. For example, it looks like they're not taking the highway for this particular route. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect it so that they get onto the highway. Bus stop 423 is going to be a problem, so I'm going to remove bus stop 423. I'm going to go to the list and I'm going to look for 423, which is right here. I'm going to click the X and I'm going to remove it. And let's see if it puts me on the highway. And yes, it did. 
what it did was it moved the traffic onto the highway which should get it to the destination faster and what I could do is I could put in another stop before it gets to the highway if I wanted to or rate right when it gets off the highway I can do that also but it's really not necessary we're gonna get uh, we're going to see how things go first. Uh, we've got another line. I'm going to blink it so you can see a little bit more clearly where it's going on the surface road under a highway. And I really don't want it to do that. So I'm going to see if I can get this other bus on the return to go up on the highway. First, we're going to show you where it's going. It's going on this lower road, connecting to this lower road, on this lower road, and we're going to get it up. We're going to get it to go where it's highlighted in green. It's going to take that off ramp, and then it's going to take the upper expressway. That's what the goal is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect the route. I'm going to follow the blue line. There's a stop over here. It says bus 65 which is our bus line and it stopped 426 that means that stop 426 needs to be removed and here it is and it's now gone this does not have our bus line we're going to check this one that doesn't have it this one does stop number 420 so stop number 420 also has to be removed. And that one is now gone. And now we are using the expressway. As you can see, this blue line is now on the upper road level when before it was on the lower road level. And that means, of course, that it's going to get to its destination faster. I'm going to add some more stops in some interesting places. I'm going to try putting one right here. And I am going to insert it. Okay, it looks like it's going to work out fine. If you look here, you're going to see how it gets inserted into this list. Right there, stop number 1265. It is a darker color. It's being inserted right there. And it was therefore done properly. Doesn't always work. Uh, fortunately, this time it did. Okay, let's see if it makes sense to add anywhere else. We've got a highway on the return. Unfortunately, that's the first stop that it makes when it returns to the island because it's all highway until it gets there. So we're missing a few opportunities, but we can fix that. For example, over here we've got an off-ramp and an on-ramp. I could put a bus stop right here. And hopefully, it'll still use the highway, and it will drop people off. And as you can see, it did. Uh, it's taking people from that highway. It's going to go on the off-ramp, back on the on-ramp, back onto the highway. Perfect transition. Uh, I'm going to look to see if there's somewhere else where I can do that. I don't see anything, but what I can do is place another stop. A couple of choices here. I can either place it right here, or I can place it right here. And I really don't know if it matters. 
I'm going to place it right here. It's not really a good location. This area doesn't have good coverage. I'm going to use the add stop feature. And you can see that it's being inserted improperly. Now, if you look at the route that it's taking, it should just insert it, but look at that crazy route. It, it changed the route. And you don't want it to do all that. And the reason why is because it's placing it after stop 729. We don't want to place it after stop 729. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to go to um, where it says Show Object Info. I'm going to click Add Stop again and it still has that problem. I'm going to close the bus line. I'm going to reopen it, try to add one more. Unfortunately, it's, it's not allowing me to add it uh, the way I want to. Uh, it's a defect with the game, and uh, you cannot reorder the stops, unfortunately. It would be nice if you could just drag a stop and, and drag it down, but it, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to try placing a stop in another location, which may or may not work. I'm going to try putting one right here. And let's see if that inserts it. That did not work properly. It's uh, taking too long of a route. So I'm going to try another stop. Oh, well, it doesn't make sense to do another one. Basically, the only thing you can do is, is uh, try again at a later point in time. Usually, I can get it to work. But unfortunately, in this case, it looks like it's not going to do it. I will try later after I save the game and restart. Um, okay, so we've got a bus here from this line. Just highlighted it. I'm wondering if any of them made it to the major roadway yet. We've got one over here. Looks like he's stuck in traffic. I'm looking for bus line 65. And I don't see anyone, so it's possible that that's the first bus that was sent out. Uh, there's a way to know. I mean, I can go to bus line 65, uh, show a list of vehicles. 805 is the first bus. This happens to be 805. So um, that's definitely the first bus. This is the furthest we've gone on this route. And as you can see, he's got a lot of traffic he's got to deal with. So one way to fix the problem is to add his own bus lane, uh, which usually works. However, I don't have a lot of buses going over the bridges and the expressways. The other thing I can do to alleviate the traffic for the bus is to actually build a bus bridge. You open up your building menu and where it says build roads and you use this piece right here which is called regular road for buses only it's highlighted in red using this you can build a road that only buses and public transportation can travel on they would have a dedicated road to get across we don't have to worry about stopping now the reason why I haven't done that is because the buses are supposed to reduce the amount of traffic. In theory, if a bus has 26 passengers, it should take 26 cars off the road. And 26 cars is a lot of cars. So my goal is to try and get uh, as many buses running on the route as possible to try and get these cars off the road. And if I have to, I'm going to run trams too. Uh, because there's probably people that prefer to run on the tram. In fact, we can check right now. Let's look at the difference between a tram and a bus. We click over here where it says vehicles. 
and these are all of our vehicles. But we have to look at the point where you purchase one. This is buy new. And you can see there's a section that says service quality. Um, let's see, over here it says service quality 90%. And if you look at the trams, we're going to look at the, the tram that I buy the most. Over here, the service quality is 95%. So it actually has a higher service quality, and it fits more people. Because it has a higher service quality, that means that people are probably going to be happier to ride that if they had to choose between that and a bus. The fare is the same. They pay the same price whether they ride the bus or the tram. One of the ways that I can fix a lot of the um, issues with transportation is I can lower the, tr the cost of the tickets for the bus, which would increase the ridership. Uh, but I have decided not to do that yet. So I'm going to find where this bus is. It was last seen crossing this bridge. There it is. And as you can see, there's another bus behind it. One thing that's interesting to note is that there's a bus in the front, which is highlighted with a white circle. There's a bus behind it. I've seen buses on the same route pass each other before, so it is possible. It's possible that the bus from behind could catch up and pass the one that's in front of it, even though they're on the same route. And it looks like there's a chance it might actually happen. It's got a lot closer now. And let's see, he's only got three passengers. Hopefully, they'll be bringing a lot more passengers. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Looks like we've still got congestion problems. And again, the, the plan with bus line 65 is going to be to try and reduce congestion as much as possible. try to get people on public transportation. So now over here we've got 56 people. We've got a lot of people that are waiting for that bus to go back home. Now what's going to happen is this bus line, the buses are not going to return in time. You can see over here it says bus line 65 on the right, and it says 13 out of 25. So we've got 13 buses on the route of 25 that are assigned to the route. Because there's traffic jams, it's going to take longer for them to complete the route. And what's going to happen is this number is going to exceed 25 at some point. And we've got 40 buses. So there's a good chance we're going to have it say 40 slash 25 instead of 13 slash 25 because all those buses are going to be out on the route and then it's going to start missing departures so this is going to be a very difficult route because of all that traffic go check again on that progress looks like the traffic is moving around moving pretty quick now. It, it, we had this big traffic jam just a short while ago and and now it's gone. But the buses are still stuck in traffic. I see one bus right here. Yeah, the, the traffic jam appears to be gone. Don't know why. Just suddenly disappeared. Got more people waiting. But the good news is that we've got a bus that's about to arrive. So the, f the first bus, which is bus number 805, is, is right here. So he's just going to go around the block. He's going to pick up those passengers. And look at that condition. Condition is 
when you get down to, a, I'm not sure the exact number, but I think it's 30%. If you get down to 30%, the bus is going to run at half the speed. And when it runs at half the speed, the cars behind it are not going to pass it. They're going to slow down. It will cause more traffic problems. That's why you want to have a vehicle such as this one, which repairs faster than the other vehicles. It, it repairs itself. The maintenance time is half as much. Um, so it's going to be sitting in the garage less time. If it's sitting in the garage and there's no more buses available and the schedule says a bus has to leave, it has to leave, even if it has condition of 0%. So we want to make sure that we have the buses that have the lowest maintenance times. And as you can see, there's two buses right behind each other. They're coming around the corner, highlighted in with a big white circle. Uh, they're going to make that right turn. Well, actually, it's a left turn, I'm sorry. So there, the first bus is making the turn. I don't know if he stops here or not. Okay, he's going to make a stop. There's 26 passengers he has to pick up. And he's probably going to pick them all up. And down here, we've got a lot of passengers waiting. They'll get in the next bus. We've got more buses showing up. We don't have any passengers, which is unfortunate because we want these buses to bring people to the Opera House. And right now, it seems like they're taking them away from the Opera House. One thing that you can do, I'm going to show you right now, this is another great feature of the game. Everyone has a destination, someplace that they're going to. So I'm going to pick one of these vehicles. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to pick a car, such as, as uh, this one. And it says that Earl Peters has a home. If you look on the map, you can see where his home is. There it is. We just centered on it. So right now, he's not far from his home. He's a couple blocks away. Earl's home is right here, highlighted in green. And he's currently on this on-ramp. So he's very close to home. He's going to a commercial building, which is, if you look on the mini-map, here and it's all the way at the bottom of the map. So he has to go through all the congestion on all this highway. He's got a long way to go. Let's see if I can pull up this. No, that's the wrong one. He has to go from where he currently is which is highlighted by the square. He's going to go down around the island. He's going to have to probably cross over, keep on heading south. And he's going to have to go to where this little white circle is. So he's going more than halfway across the map. And what you're going to find when you look at the vehicles is that they are going where they're going. The, the game actually routes the traffic uh, to a real place. If you see traffic congestion on a bridge and you look at those vehicles, you're going to find that they're, they are in fact headed across the bridge, for example. And not only are they headed across, but if you look at the vehicles that are crossing over, a lot of them are headed to this general area. When I inspect their destinations, I usually find that they're headed towards one of the buildings that you see in this area. So, uh, it doesn't make any sense. There's so many other places they could go to, but they tend to, to pinpoint these areas. So this stop that had 70 people waiting now only has 15. We've got other buses coming in to pick up those people and there's not a lot of traffic on the way back so it looks like it's going to be a successful run 
right now it's Monday, it's 11 a.m. The traffic is moving along. However, once it gets to be perhaps 9 p.m. on Monday, uh, it's possible that we might see traffic jams again. And it's possible that it might be something that happens on Friday and Saturday. I definitely see it on Friday night and Saturday night. I don't know if it's going to happen on the Monday night. Okay, so that is the solution. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to see in this video because I can't pause the video. I can't pause the recording. So we're not going to see how it turns out. But one of the things I'm going to show you is that I don't like these bus lanes. So I'm going to delete them and replace them with regular lanes, which means, unfortunately, all this traffic is going to lose their place. You got to do it at some time, so don't be afraid to delete a bridge that has people going somewhere. I'm going to check the normal place to see if there's any other traffic issues. Any big congestion. Looks like there isn't. Everything looks to be moving. Oh, here's another congested area. This is the original highway. I'm going to highlight it. Right here is the original highway. And here is the extension that I made. And as you can see, the northbound traffic is becoming congestion, congested through this on-ramp here and this on-ramp here. One of the issues that I see, and there's not a lot of congestion beyond that, so it's the actual on-ramps that are a problem. And one of the things that you're going to notice is that this on-ramp, the, the curve to enter is not smooth enough. Like over here we've got this smooth angle. Over here we've got a, an angle that's not good for an on-ramp because the vehicles are not maintaining their optimum speed. If you sit and watch the cars, you'll see that uh, if they're both traveling uh, during the merge, if the vehicles are traveling at approximately the same speed, they'll, they'll actually merge together assuming that there's enough space between the cars. But if they have to slow down and stop, it, it causes a problem for the merge. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to fix this area. The way I'm going to fix it is by placing a service road. So this is going to be the main road, as it was before, but I'm going to build another road alongside of it. It's going to start over here. It's going to go alongside. <coughs> Excuse me and it is going to end over here or maybe even on this next connection and all the on-ramps and off-ramps will be on the service road so that the normal traffic which is coming from here is going to move smoothly and everyone will merge onto the service road they probably won't have to stop because there won't be a lot of traffic on the service road and then there will be one larger merge later on and service roads definitely improve traffic flow I expect it to work no problem however that will be in a different video